Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Here I am with another video and today guys I'll show you how we celebrated the Victory Day. Yep, last Monday on 9th of May we had Victory Day in Russia. Um, I think this video that I'm gonna make today is very important guys because well, I'm not only going to show you how everything goes, how everything usually goes for my family on this day, but I also wanted to explain a lot of things to you about our traditions and most of all about the meaning that we give to this holiday. Because unfortunately right now I can see that a lot of people are trying to politicize this holiday, uh, especially like people from European countries and like from other countries they are trying to twist and turn the facts about this holiday so today I simply wanted to like clarify some of such things you know of uh, questions concerning this holiday and I'm doing this mostly for you guys to understand us Russians a little bit better <music> Russian person this is a very special day because you would hardly find a family that wouldn't have somebody fighting in World War II, somebody killed in World War II, somebody who wouldn't suffer in World War II. Um, the issues related to World War II for us are not something that we learn from history books in school. But these are things that we learned from our grandparents' stories, from their life experience that they shared with us. Uh, so for us, this is something very, very personal. Like in my family, um, my, like my dad's father was fighting in World War II. And in my husband's family, like his grandpa was also fighting in World War II. Both of them were wounded. Uh, both of them ended the world in European countries, in Europe. So, you know, for us, this is very personal. I guess like for any Russian family. And when we celebrate this day, we try to show our gratitude. Um, we try to express our respect and our thankfulness for the people who, who sacrificed so much to actually make this Victory Day happen. And we also understand uh, that for our grandparents, this was a very, very special day. You know, it was the day that they were waiting for, for four years. Yeah, it was the day for which they have shed so much tears and blood. It was the day that many people, unfortunately, didn't manage to see. They were killed previous, like prior to this day happening. And, um... It was the day when people understood that finally they would be able to return to a peaceful life. Uh, the day after which they knew that their fathers and sons and husbands would return back home. Uh, the day that symbolized that now peace is back and war is over. We do not give any political hue to this uh, holiday of whatsoever. I know that there are people who think that, oh, on this day, Russia is just simply trying to show off with its military forces, it's trying to show off, um, trying to make everyone see that it turned out to be like stronger than Germany and like other countries. No, it's nothing. It's nothing about that. It's simply about being grateful for our grandparents and remembering how much they did to make this victory happen about the celebrations how does it usually go well every time every night of may begins in the same way for every russian person <laughs> everyone rushes to watch the parade it starts at 10 in the morning and yes everybody's watching like everyone is watching like i know yeah some people are actually going to see the parade in at the red square or like in their cities where the parade is like performed because it's not only performed in Moscow but also in other cities as well uh, but most of the people are simply watching it on TV or like we are doing it we're watching it on laptop uh, yes it is a tradition that we have to watch a parade 
And I guess this is something that makes us feel patriotic and makes us feel more united as a nation. By the way, I have to admit that Russian people are not really patriotic. We are not patriots. Um, mo in most of the days, in most of the times, we are criticizing ourselves. We are criticizing our government. We are criticizing like a lot of things in our country and stuff like that. So I guess 9th of May is one of those rare occasions when Russian people really feel united as a nation. Yeah. And of course, when we think about the Victory Day, we also understand that that's not only our holiday, that not only Russian people um, attributed a lot to make this victory happen, but that we fought together with other nations, with Ukrainians, with Belarusians, side by side with other, like people of other nation nationalities, people from Caucasus, people from such countries as Kazakhstan, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, you know, we were one big country that had a lot of nationalities and all of us were fighting together for this victory. So it's not only our Russian holiday, it's also a holiday for all those people whose grandparents took part in this war. So it's like that. Okay, so yeah, we watched the parade a little bit. By the way, me being a girl, I don't enjoy watching such things. Well, I do understand how much job was um, done to actually make it happen, to make everything look so neat and uh, nice. But for me, it's kind of boring, you know. Um, as for my boys, yeah, they're kind of excited to watch it. But every time they watch it, they are waiting for tanks. Well, those of you who are watching my channel for some time already, you know that my boys are, um, they are playing World of Tanks. So for them, it's something special to see a real tank. Yeah, so they're waiting for the tanks to come. The second thing that we usually do on Victoria is we watch a lot of movies, especially old movies uh, that were... Uh, about that are about world war yeah and it just so happens that i think and also my husband like a lot of people think that older movies old movies are better than uh the movies that uh, were shot just you know recently yeah we had we have like a few our favorite ones that we watch every year we, we really watch them over and over again because we love them so much they give us so uh such uh strong emotions that we just keep on watching them. Movies that were taken back when my pa parents were a uh, little, when my parents were teenagers, like back then, like we still rewatch those movies. By the way, initially those movies were black and white, um, like monochrome, but uh, recently they were, um, they were changed, they were made into colored ones. I don't know how they managed to do that, but yes. So now we have, we have like a colored version of those old movies. Another very important tradition that we have is to take part in a special flash mob or, um, well, officially it is called an action immortal regiment, Bismirkni Polk. And it's, um, it's a flash mob when people come out in the streets with posters where they have photos of their relatives who took part in World War II, who fought in World War II. And people gather in groups and just walk along the streets carrying those portraits to show, um, to show their respect to their ancestors, to show how grateful they are to all those people who made Victory Day happen. Yeah. And I can say that, of course, we have like the grand, like the major, um, the major flash mob in the center of the city where there's like a lot of people coming there and they have a pretty a long route. Um, yeah, but we also have little uh, minor flash mobs like that in the neighborhoods. We also have this flash mob in our neighborhood, like closer to the park we have nearby. And yes, we are going to take part in this flash mob this year. By the way, it was pouring rain just a few minutes ago, so we kind of are a little bit 
late i guess for this flash mob because the rain kept us indoors but nevertheless let's go and see and yes this is a newly erected monument it has just been opened here today and it is dedicated to moscow citizens who signed into the army to go and defend their their city and their country Oh, that's great. We are on time. I can see that the flash mob has just started so we can we can join everyone. many of you will be surprised to see that a lot of Russian people are bringing Soviet flags like the red Soviet flags with them for the Victory Day celebrations. Um, some of you might think that oh gosh this is a Soviet flag like a communist flag why are those people bringing those communist like symbols with them are they communist? No guys the truth is that many people today treat this red Soviet flag as a symbol of victory, as a symbol of this one big country we were living in, and that uh, the symbol of that country who won in World War II. And that's it. Um, and I'm more than definite those people who are carrying such flags, they have absolutely nothing to do with the Communist Party or whatsoever and with communist ideas. So it's not about that. Um, the same goes for this ribbon that I have over here. Um, this ribbon is called Georgian Ribbon and it is also the symbol of victory. Uh, Soviet soldiers used to have medals that they got for, um, for doing heroic things during World War II and th those medals had such a ribbon as a part of them. And that's it. So. Uh, you see, um, this ribbon doesn't hold any idea of racism or any idea of Russians being superior than other nations. No, it doesn't hold such things. It only symbolizes the victory day. As the flash mob ended in the park, we decided to go a little bit further into it, like further into the park, because we have another old monument there, which is near the dugout. Yeah, by the way, you can see a lot of dugouts in Moscow parks and sometimes even on the streets, like in the suburbs of Moscow. Because though German army never got into Moscow, but they were very close and nobody knew whether the Soviet army would be able to stop it from entering Moscow. So people were preparing, they were building dugouts and trenches and things like that. And they are still here. They are kept as a memory I guess and yeah just a few minutes ago it was sunny yeah. and so nice but then the clouds came and it started raining and even snowing so the weather changed very fast we decided to go home but on our way back the rain stopped and we saw that they have a little concert there of people singing so we stopped to listen for a few songs there before coming back